Hey guys, it's Creative Redundancy back again here with another video, and this is going to be a how-to video on how to make a bungee Canadian jam dot compression strap. Here's a couple of finished products right here. Now you can make this from virtually any kind of bungee, right? But um, the bigger it is, the heavier it is, the more weight it can handle, and the thicker it is too. Right? Uh, thick bungee cables can hold can hold up to, you know, depending on brand and quality, but up to a couple hundred pounds. While something like this may be up to ninety to a hundred pounds, give or take. Now the first thing you want to do is grab your bungee, right? This is the running end, right? This head we're going to start off with, make a knot, and put it near the top, like so. Make another knot, so you have a loop like this, but before you tighten it down, right? You want to take your standing end, which is the other side. pull and pull it across now I usually pull across like so so it's perpendicular to the setup and I'll take that loop and make a knot out of it now I'm trying to push it towards that first knot right here All right so you have something somewhere to this tie this and um pull this tight now the tighter it is, the better the compression it is, but the better the compression is, usually the harder it is to undo or pull apart. So you'll have to use your judgment on that. Now I take the stand, um, not the standing end, uh, yeah, the standing end and pull it across, like so, okay. So you have something like this. You can make them any size you want. Usually my rule of thumb is about four inches of line on both sides with about four inches or so of knots and tails, right? So you were done with this, you would see how far that stretches out. Okay. You can make this longer if you wanted to. You can actually probably even make this like two free feet and put it around your waist and make it as a belt if you wanted to. It works pretty well as a belt too. But for this example, I would probably just knot it right here, put a knot right here and cut it right here. Now I'm done to cut this one because it's still a whole piece. But I have ones ready to go like you can see now these could be used in different ways they don't weigh no they weigh next to nothing right they weigh a little bit more than paracord for the same amount right as you can see well you can't see because I don't have the scale but this actually weighs way less than this but certain things of paracord that I don't like is if you make a Canadian jam knot if there's a lot of pressure within it like uh, your bedroll or whatever it wants to pull it apart now you compensate by making turns right and that works right but for the, Canadian, the bungee Canadian jam knot compression strap, I did the exact same thing, right? Right, I did the exact same thing, right? Right, but you notice I can't push it apart, right? And I don't have to make turns around it if I don't want to, so I can use this and lash it to my pack on this side, 
right? Or something like that. I can still make the turns if I want to, right? Just to make it neat. But I don't need to do it if I don't have to. Another cool tip is, let's see, I had a piece right here. I can't get it around, right? I can't get the loop around, right? So, what you would do is fold this a little, a little tight, put your finger in there so it's tight, go around it, right? Stick the loop through the end of it, right? So, and pull the other side tight, the loop tight, so it grabs around it like so. And that's how you can get this to work with like like a ridge line, a uh, clothesline, or like how I have it here, a stick ray. Pretending that I can't have access to the, any, there's no opening to get a, the loop in. That's how you would get, get something like this to work with it. Other things you can use this for are uh, as an improvised tourniquet, as uh, if you have two of these and a couple of sticks or whatever, you can make spl splints with them. Um, let's say you have a a hat and your flashlight, right? You don't have a headlamp for some reason, but you want to make a a headlamp. Just flat, do something like this, right? And put your flashlight on the top and you can make an improvised headlamp. Now you might need two compression, um, two bungee compression straps for it, but it will work. There's probably lots and lots of other things you could do that, use this for. So if you have any suggestions or ideas on how to use this, please uh, comment it below. And as always, subscribe, like, and share it if you haven't already, and stay tuned for more how-to videos from Creative Redency. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye. Peace.